Babies, Tori Virgo, Capricorn, howdy dowdy, happy resurrection weekend. This is a collective sign from my earth, Babies, Tori Virgo, Capricorn. How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? This is a collective message. Flip the switch and get in where you fit in, leave the rest. There's no gender in tarot. If it don't apply, let it fly, leave it to somebody else. It's a collective message. Please like, love, and share the segment, okay? The more likes y'all get, it helps the channel, okay? It kind of helps me if I'm tapping in a little bit better, okay? Also, you guys, I'm going to do it a little bit different, okay? Even though I'm adding all the signs together through elements, okay? I'm going to break you down in your sign, okay? We're going to do Taurus first, then Virgo, then Capricorn, okay? Kind of tell you what's the T in each individual sign, because most of y'all signs, you know, earth signs, y'all connect anyway, okay? It's just like a big story to the back story. <laughs> okay, to the back, back, back story. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pretty much are going through the same thing anyway, okay? So let's see, okay? This is something new. I thought I'd let's see. And then I'm going to back it up with the hidden truth about what's really, really going on, okay? After we explain it with the tarot, okay? So God, the sending master, universe, and spirit. Earth babies, toys, Virgo, Capricorn, three part pool, or what's the tip in each sign, okay? I gotta gotta put y'all together today because these events has really been draining me and Tristan. And Tristan needs to go to bed early to wake up tomorrow for another event. It's been mommy, mommy, vent, vent, vent all weekend. That's what Easter is starting to be like, okay? Egg hunting, egg done, egg party, egg jumping, everybody's on the egg bunny party, okay? And Tristan is there in full effect. I have to get my baby support, so, you know, I'm a little tired, but I'm hanging on in there, okay, with the bunny thing, okay? So, thank y'all for being um, appreciative of the channel and giving me a break this week, because, baby, I've been going since Friday. I finally got in some normal, relaxed clothes, got in my short shorts. Because, baby, we've been booted in school this is Friday, okay? And I'm tired. It's only Saturday. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's do Taurus first and clock order. What's the tea? With my Taurus babies, okay? This is Earth Sign Collective. We're starting with Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn, okay? Taurus baby, what's the tea, okay? You have Wolf and Sheep clothing, okay? Who had that? Scorpio? Yeah. Scorpio had that. Okay, you have in your head, okay, overthinking, stress, overanalyzing, okay. So, why are y'all overanalyzing, okay? Ignoring, okay, because you probably are ignoring the situation because you're in your head about it, okay. You know, you this person, how they say, did not show you who they really was, okay, at the end of the day, and it was disappointment. Period. Okay? And you in your head because you probably gave 110% of who you were and they showed you every little bit of who they wasn't. Okay? So that's what's going on with my tourist babies. Okay? Virgo! Let's see what's going on with my Virgo babies. Virgo, what's going on with y'all? What's the problem with y'all? Love triangle. Third party multiple lovers choices. So, Virgo, y'all are in either in a love triangle or you got multiple choices, okay? You're trying to figure out who, what, when, and where, okay? Woo, child, Virgo. Put this up. Okay, what else is going on with my Virgos? Here it is. No car repo and car issues. Okay, so y'all having car problems, okay? So y'all are definitely carless Virgos, okay? So y'all carless. Y'all trying to get back on your dish. If you ain't, you up, okay? Unless you live in a big city. I know all you big cities, Boston, Massachusetts, um, New York, you know what I'm saying? Detroit, Chicago, y'all don't need a car. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a track and other transportation um, means that are better, okay? It says, into you. Good chemistry, vibes, and positivity, okay? So, you're calling this right now, but you are in a love triangle, and it's one you really are into. It's one that really takes your breath away. So, you're just trying to figure it out. Maybe that's your transportation. Maybe this person 
lends you the car, you know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all are living together or y'all are real close. They trust you to do errands in the car. You know, they drop you off at work. You know, y'all kind of share the car a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Or they bought you a car and you know if, you know, if you like the other person that got good chemistry, good vibes and everything else, you about to be cardinals. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it go. Spirit will definitely work it out for you guys. You know, you never know. You know, if you tell them the person that you do like that you won't got no car, you never know what that person might do. Honesty goes a long way, y'all. For real. You'd be surprised. Okay? That's my Virgos. Okay, Capricorn. What y'all got going on? Creeping. Looking around your shoulder. Who is creeping with the Capricorns? Creeping. Ego. Okay. Her ego getting getting her ego is getting in the way of relationship struggle. Okay, let me tell you something about ego. Ego don't get you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? People always make fun of us vulnerable people, how we just let you know that you just stepped on our toes. You know what I'm saying? Most of us are water signs, you know. You know, we kind of let you know what the situation is so it won't be no confusion when we drop you. But all that, I am think I'm this and you're not. Okay, we, you see through that. And your ego don't get you nowhere. Ego does not get you nowhere. Your pride and ego gets you nowhere but left behind. But somebody has a hurt ego. Somewhere in the midst of Capricorn, y'all done spoiling somebody's ego. Y'all done talk to them, listen, that all that egotistical stuff don't get you nowhere. And that's good. They need to break it. Because that's ugly. Married for money. Okay. So somebody had an arranged marriage to marry for money. And because they ego got in the way. Okay. Now they creeping and looking around, looking over their shoulders, looking at my Capricorns. And I don't understand why. Okay. You got what you wanted. Your ego got you right in the situation that you deserve to be in. And you I don't know why you're looking around the corner with the owl. Okay. I don't understand that. <laughs> okay. But we about to find out. Okay. Let's start. With Taurus babies, okay? Let's see. Let's see what's the issue with Taurus babies. Should she in... What does it say? Sheep. Wolf in sheep's clothing. In their head, okay? They all up in their head and they ignoring it. Okay, so you're ignoring, ignoring it. You're all up in your head. You're ignoring your intuition. You're knowing how you feel. You're faking it and making it. Knowing that you feel a certain kind of way. So you rather sit there and think about it, mentally fuck yourself, because that's basically what you're doing, okay? Because you're overthinking everything instead of just saying something about it. Uh, okay, let's see. Taurus, baby, what's going on? This is either you or them, Taurus, somebody in your energy, okay? You necessarily don't have to be you. Energy is translucent. It can be somebody y'all dealing with. Victory. Well, somebody got the victory, my Taurus, baby. Y'all got the victory, okay? Y'all standing strong, okay? With the six. Of wands. Y'all taking action. Y'all won the race. Y'all won the war. You know, you know, like, hey, if I gotta take an L, it is what it is. With the Knight of Wands, okay, in reverse, y'all are not flighty. Y'all not in denial about things. You're, how they say, facing things head first, okay? Like, boom. Like, <laughs> this is everything in uh, season back. Y'all, like, okay, so you wanna bump head? Let's do it, okay? With the Page of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse, okay? But y'all not pushing, putting no emotional ties to this situation. You know, you felt like you found out all you need to know. There's no more to do spine and researching because you feel like that they already are with you over. But now you're in your head about it. Reason being, because the feelings ain't there. Put your feelings back in there, okay? That's why you all up in your head. You're trying to be a mind over heart. Sometimes you got to add that shit together. Think about it. Feel through the pain and continue on. You know what I'm saying? But you're just trying to... Just, uh, well, well, if I would have, and if they would have, and if I would have done this better, see, no, nah, uh-uh. Expression of vulnerability is important, especially with yourself. Write it down, get a journal, whether it's you or them stories. You know, everybody's been through it before. You know, express it. If you feel like you can't express it to that person, write it down, write a letter. Write a little letter, type a little letter. You know, do whatever that you need to get this off your chest. Because that's the only way it's going to be your energy balance the situation out. Okay? So they don't need to be out of your head. Whether you or them showed you who they were. Fake them and fake them. Wolf and Chief Coleman. They was out to get you in the jump. Okay? Ain't nothing you can do about it. Okay? Take that loss and go on. Or if you were a counterpart and you're looking at tourists. Yep, they know who you are. 
<laughs> okay? You know, just take that loss, go heal. Because that's the only way you're going to balance things out. Okay? Now, Virgo, love triangle, Carlos, into you. Okay, so somebody definitely going to be Carlos because they're in a three-party situation. And they're really into somebody. And that's probably because the hermit is coming out. You, you thinking about it. Virgo, you, you, you in your reading, baby, you thinking about it. You're like, damn, I, I ain't got no car or I'm not going to have a car if I let this person go. Okay, materialistic, I get it. Parts are very important, you know, to get you to work, things of that nature. Okay, yeah, four of swords. You're trying to release Gemini energy. You got Gemini in your chart. You're trying to release some stuff. You're trying to, how to say, if I do this, this will happen and what will plan B be? Okay. So you're taking a step back, you know, you're looking at both sides of the triangle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the high priestess, absolutely. You know, you're looking at both sides of the triangle, you know what I'm saying? Basically with the Virgo, y'all always want to be stable in everything you do, you know what I'm saying? It's not about money, it's not about sex or anything like that. This person might be helping y'all. This could also be a friendship issue as well. If you're trying to make something serious with someone, some woman or man, you know what I'm saying? With the seven of cups, yeah, you have some emotional choices you got to make. And you're trying to make some serious, but your friend always helps you out. But you ain't fucking your friend, and you don't feel that way about your friend. Your friend is just basically a good friend, period, okay? But they help you out by having an automobile, okay? So, I mean, two things can happen. You can be honest with them and say, hey, I'm trying to scoot next to Johnny, and we can both walk together. <laughs> Because obviously Johnny ain't got a car. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both ain't going to have a car. Or I'm hearing something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you can just save up money and be honest with all of your party and say, hey, if you can help me out, I can save up money I can get my own ride. Or if you be honest to the other person, maybe they got a ride. Maybe they'll help you get one. Or they'll loan theirs to you because they know you got to go to work. Either or. Okay, if you be honest about the situation and stop trying to train your situation, Virgo, whether it's you or somebody in your energy, just come on with the honesty. Maybe you'll get somewhere, okay? One more for my Virgos before we out. One more for my Virgos. Yeah, this got you wondering and worried about it, okay? At the bottom of the deck, yeah, you trapped. This is a trap situation. Okay, Virgos, that's what I got for my Virgos. Capricorn. Creeping ego, married for money. Okay, so somebody married somebody for money. That's about it. <laughs> that could be arranged marriage. They was placed together. They wed high school kids. You know, same old, same old. You know what I'm saying? Somebody can't think for themselves. They have to marry somebody through the vision or something like that. That is really true. You know, these things happen. It's sad, but it's true. You know, let's see. Yeah, seven of wands. You are highly protected from this issue, Capricorn. Say nothing, nothing to do with you, really. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This really ain't got nothing to do with you, okay? Unless you're the person that has to marry for money. You know, other than that, this ain't got nothing to do with you. This person left you to be all up on some extra stuff because it says ego out here. They was in your ego, so how they say this rejection was God protection. And they bring it right into her and arrange marriage. It seems like it's what they need. Yep. That's what they did. Because you put your boundaries up. They were stuck over here. They had no other choice. Between all the fighting and all that, you were protected. That was supposed to go down. Divinely guided. Because whoever this was, was not wearing a woman enough to stand up for what they believed in. And that was what was in their heart. You know, and they probably still ain't ready to stand up for what they believe in. With the king of swords. They can't speak for themselves. They tongue tie bad at communication. And nobody got time for that. We ain't kids. You know, speak up for you. Sometimes you gotta speak up for yourself. Arranged marriage could probably have something to do with family, you know, mother, father, sister, whomever that you look up to authority. You know, they still gonna love you if you decide not to marry the person. At least they should. You know, I have older kids. You know how many... I'm trying to get this car. You know how many people they date I don't like, but like I said, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? And I still love my kids regardless of what choices they make. You know, at the end of the day. And honestly, yeah, common waters. You ran a common waters. You know what I'm saying? Because, really? This ain't 
nothing to do with you, Capricorn. You know, if they parents, mother, sister, cousin, any uncle, whoever they look up to, wants them to be with this person that's starting warfare within them, because they arrange and they sit there and lousy, it, hey, <laughs> more, more love to you, okay? You know, it's free will. If you sit down and allow somebody match make you with somebody that you don't love or care about, then that's not your fault. Okay, yeah. With the Knight of Swords. They were, they rushed into this little incident. They thought it was on and popping. One more Capricorn. That's that ego. They rushed into that. They thought this was the best decision ever. Yeah. And now they feel like a, a selfish, unselfish fool. <laughs> Because they realized that this was not what it was cracked up to be. This ain't life. And life be life. And I'm telling you, you be thinking it's the best idea? Yeah, with the ten of pentacles at the bottom. So they have money, but they show is miserable with the nine of cups in reverse. Baby, they show is miserable. They got money, but baby, they bored and miserable and unhappy and stuck and confused and trying to find the flow to get out of it. Emperor at the bottom of the day, baby. Aries in the baby. Capricorn. <laughs> Let me put one more for my cap. Baby, this Capricorn, baby. If you keep living your life, keep going to the seven of swords, going to come and water, baby. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Or it's you. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got the ten swords in reverse. Yeah, you don't care. <laughs> you really don't care. Because you, you shouldn't. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay? So let me see the hidden truth for all my element signs towards Virgo Capricorn. Let's try Capricorn hidden truth first. I'm going to go backwards. What's the uh, hidden truth for my Capricorn? One card pull. You know how they say you put a damper to that ego, Capricorn. The time is just were right for us. Yeah, well, it don't seem like it's going to ever be right. Because, baby, you about to dawn on the dawn with somebody you don't even love. Okay, so let's go to my Virgo. Golly, okay, it says you speak to me and move through music in reverse. Yeah, you don't really speak to this person through music in reverse. You know, this is a love triangle. You know what I'm saying? You all up in your head, or whether they all up in their head about you, Virgo, you got the car, you helping them out, you know what I'm saying? Vice versa. But this is a love triangle, and somebody gonna be coreless once that decision is made, okay? And let's see what's going on with my Taurus, with the sheep clothing, okay? I am attracted to you. Yes, Taurus, this is a sexual thing. They just wanted the pom pom or the ding ding, okay? They chase shift and was fake as hell. Now you, now they all up in their head or you all up in your head about the situation because they dropped it like a pancake. And that's what I got for my earth sign, babies. I love you. Bye.